Well, hey everybody, I'm Mr. Tyler. Here's my daughter Jane and Hope. Let me just move over here. Okay, so now you should be able to see what Jane is doing right over here. That's pretty exciting. So, welcome to Meet the Masters. We are gonna jump into this week's Meet the Master artist. Do you know who it is? Um. His name is Juan Miro. I have it right here. Spelled some, you might not expect that to be pronounced Juan, would you? But he's from Ju Spain. Ju looks like yeah. John. Looks almost like you'd say Joan or Joanne, but in Spanish that would be pronounced Juan. And he lived over a hundred years ago, and he's famous for what? Uh, doing art. Doing art, that's correct, Jane. He's famous for doing art, and the kind of art he did, he liked to use a lot of crazy fun shapes and lines. We call it abstract art. So a, a kind of a interesting shape that he would then use his imagination to make it into uh, something else. So uh, it's just a bunch of squiggles and lines, but you can imagine, oh, that's a fish or that's a tree or that's a plane. Uh, and so we're gonna practice doing that today. Here, try not to move your legs too much so it doesn't shake our friend's screen here. So. Let's talk about what we need. We have our piece of paper here. Uh, you should have some squares of paper. I got a black piece, two yellows, a red, and a blue. You got that, Jane? Yeah. I have a pencil, a marker, and some scissors, got these. and some glue. Okay. Uh, so first thing, let's actually turn our page over and write our name right there. And leave your page on this side, but write your name first. Good job, now leave it on the back. Leave it so the back is facing up because we're gonna just do one practice round. The first thing I want us to do, just with your pencil nice and light, uh, so no one's gonna see this, start somewhere on your page and maybe Jane, watch me first, but I'm just gonna keep my pencil down the whole time. I'm not gonna lift it. One big line that squiggles and squirrels and crosses itself like four or five times. So I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna start here and I'm just gonna do a little zigzag. I'm gonna go back and cross, kind of use the whole piece of paper. You can even go over your art, art slip if you can. That's, although that's kind of hard to do. So you see how I did that? I just kind of used the whole piece of paper squiggled and I crossed it a couple times. So try that, Jean, just with your pencil as practice. Yeah, maybe do a little swirl in there. Ooh, I like that. There you go. Yeah, try to use all the page, all the... Yeah. Wonderful. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. So now let's turn our page over. Make sure you're situated there. And this time, okay, we practiced, right? So let's grab our marker. Now be careful with this. Uh, we don't wanna to push too hard, but we're gonna do the same thing we did with the pencil on the front side now. So just start somewhere and very nice and light, nice and swirly, just kind of use the marker and cover your whole page. Kind of cross the line a couple times. Yeah, great job. Wonderful. So it doesn't have to be too much. Yep, that's great. All right, marker back on. Okay. So now, what are we gonna do? Let's grab our black and one piece of yellow. So we'll start, we'll start with the black. Ready, Jane? Yeah. Okay. So with the black, I want you to fold it right in half. And make a little crease. So it's like a book, and this isn't really in half. Okay. So when you make a little crease, 
Open it, use your scissors, and just cut it into two rectangles. That's good. Now just cut it, cut that line straight down the middle so it's two rectangles. Excellent. Now use that rectangle. Let's fold it in half down so it's a square. Yeah, just take one, fold it so it's a square. And this one, just instead of unfolding, it just kind of See the folded edge? Yeah. Just right along the edge there. Cut off the cut off the fold so you have two squares. Do you have two squares now? Mm. Nice. Yeah. So let's take one and carefully just kind of can you with your scissors round out the corner and do that four times so you have kind of like a circle. See how I did that? I just took it and rounded the corner. Took it and rounded the corner. And it's okay if it's not perfect, but I'm trying to just make a kind of a circle. Yeah, just like that. And you can keep doing that with all four squares. Just take that square, round out the corner, round out the corner. Oops. And don't worry about it being perfect. You're just trying to make a couple kind of circle like shapes. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so this one, let's do the same thing. Let's fold it in half, the shape cut off the fold. Square. Yeah, save the scraps in a pile because we might use those a little later. So fold it in half, cut off the fold so you have two. If you want, if you had some trouble making those circles, you could, with your pencil, draw as big a circle as you can. So it uses all, it touches all four sides. No, and then try to cut it. So that would be another tip if you want to try that, but you can just use your scissors and do that same thing. Round the corner, round the corner, round the corner, round the corner. So you got, right? And then try to save your scraps in a pile. Huh? Well, I need them at once. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, cut the fold off. Great. So save the scraps, save these. You should have four kind of circles. And again, they're not supposed to be perfect circles because Juan Mira liked abstract, oh. weird, wavy shapes. So I'm gonna put my circles over there. Oh yeah, Jane's got one more to make. Great job. Great. Now, we're gonna do the same thing 
with the yellow. One piece of yellow. The other yellow is saved because that's going to be different. But with this piece of yellow, let's fold it in half. And be, do it on your on your table if it's easier. Fold it in half. So, or your desk. Or your desk. We have desks in class. Good point. What were you so gonna say? So we're gonna have four black circles and four yellow circles. That is correct. So eight circles. Yep. So you fold it in half. You made a crease. What's next? Um, uh, cut it. Cut the crease. All right, cut the crease so you have two rectangles. All right, take one rectangle, fold it in half. And cut off the fold. Now what? Make it a circle. Make it a circle around those corners. Same thing with the second one. Okay, save those scraps. Let's do one more. Let's fold it. Cut off the corners. And round the corners. Great. Yeah. Okay, let me just look at my instructions. Make sure I know what I'm doing here. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, yes, I remember now. What? Now we're going to have some fun with these other pieces. So we got three left, right? Yes. So let's start with yellow. Mm -hmm. How about? Okay. Scissors. Yellow. We're not going to fold this time. We're just gonna cut. So, remember you practiced some abstract shapes? If you remember yeah, that? I did. Yeah, so you have nice wavy lines or zigzaggy lines. And so this one, using as much of the page as possible, I want us to take, you can use, you can cut it a couple different times, but try not to cut through the middle. You're just gonna start on the edge and make the edge kind of a wavy shape. So you can kind of do like that. And then just keep going around. And again, try to keep going back and forth, make it wavy as much as you want, but try to use, use it all the way to the edge. So you're making kind of a nice big wavy shape. You can imagine, I don't know, you're making a leaf or a fish or a car. Let's see, I'm making one big wavy shape at the end and I cut I just cut as little as possible, but I had a, have a nice little piece of scrap at the end there. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. That's great. So now let's pick up our red piece. Um, this time, you can make a choice. You could do just wavy the whole time, or one of these you can make it kind of 
jagged lines, like sharper angles. Uh, and so I'm going to do sharp ang angles, but still, still try to use just as much of the paper as you can, but just make, maybe you do a couple of sharp lines, but not too far in. You want to still use up as much of the paper as possible and just keep your lines to the edges. So kind of like that. See how I'm making, we made two big shapes, one wavy, one sharp. Yeah. There. Wonderful. All right, what do you think we're going to do with the blue? I don't know. Do a wavy? Yeah, let's do wavy again, but same sort of thing. Maybe do it different. Look at the one that you made already and try to make something even different than that. You can go... Make it maybe a bigger loop into the middle a couple times. Yeah, so do the same thing. Try to keep it as big as big as you can near the outside, but you can make it kind of wavy if you want. All right. See, I made it kind of like that. What'd you do? Yeah. Nice. Like okay. So, now let's imagine, let's kind of arrange them. So this is our background, and these are our foreground. Uh, and so you can use your big pieces and kind of put them all around. And then you can add these dots. You might even, you can make them like, maybe they have some silly eyes like that. You know, or maybe... Or you can use the dots separate. You can just make the dots be something, but just kind of move them around your page. How would you want to stack them if you want? So I'm gonna make, maybe I have some googly eyes and maybe they're like playing catch with some, with some other like juggling balls or something. Oh. So you can imagine, what do your pieces look like? Do they look like animals or vehicles or plants? Um, do they have eyes? You don't have to make them into this eyes. This one sort of looks like a witch's hat. Oh, yeah, nice. Like thing. Yeah, that's Cat great. Just this one. Okay. And so let's start with the pieces we cut out. Once you kind of have that, ooh, nice, I like what you're doing there. Now, let's glue them down. So the ones on the back, you're gonna wanna glue first, and then the, the circles, if you've overlapped, you wanna glue those second. But you just need a little bit of glue. So just kind of work with one at a time, and kind of remember how you overlapped it. Move it and glue the big pieces down first, and then the small pieces on top. So just kind of put those back where you think they should go.
And here's a little added tip, especially if you use the black circles to make eyes and you want to make some googly eyes, um, or, or even if you just want to add some more decoration, maybe grab a little piece of your yellow scrap paper. You have all this scrap paper around and look what I can do. If I put a little piece there, what does that look like? Um, yeah. It kind of helps it have some pupils, right? So it actually looks like it's some eyeballs sticking out there. Maybe I can use some more scraps to add like some eyebrows even. Do -do. I know, and do eyebrows. Isn't that nice? Hmm. Yeah, oh, yours is good. Actually, I don't, yeah, even just with some slits. Some little slits right there. Actually, I like that a lot. Kind of makes me think of a frog or something. So, yeah, do that. Uh, let's see. You, so, you can use your scrap pieces and add, add some flavor to your uh, design here. You can also grab your marker at this point and you can even just draw in the eyeball. Oh. Draw or draw any a little bit of design. Don't don't use this to color a lot because we just want some some details. So maybe there's uh, you know some some nice curly eyelashes. Maybe maybe it has a silly face. Um, or if you didn't draw eyes, maybe just add a few details. Maybe you put some leaves or some scales. Wherever your whatever your imagination. Yeah, what do you think like you're drawing person. here? This kind of looks like a person. But I'm making it a person with only one eyeball. Haha. <laughs> So yeah, you, you can, uh, with as much time as you have, use some scrap paper or your marker to add some, some details on there. Hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna add some details to these juggling balls here. Yep. Gonna add some eyeballs to my googly eyes. What are your, yeah, I like it. I like these silly, Silly creatures you've created. What do you think that is over there? A witch's hat. A witch's hat. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay, okay. So yeah, take with as much time as you have. Uh, really quick, you know, we've been doing art for so long and real, like the master artists. Have you noticed they always sign their, their art? Yeah, so maybe yeah. really quick, you, you might still have time to keep touching it up, but take your marker and w maybe sign your name right there, really small, right there in the corner. So that everyone knows this is a masterpiece made by you. Uh, so sign your, sign your art at the end, but yeah, keep, keep messing around. You don't have to use all the scraps, but you might want to decide, oh, I want to use a little bit more of this. I want to... Maybe give them some something that they're standing on or uh, anything you want. You can just use your imagination, use your scraps, and... Yeah, I, do the, I do this on the ball. I like it. Yes, that's good. I'm just going to add this last little bit of detail here. Add some scraps for a few of my creatures to have a standing place. Doesn't really show up on the book. Mm. Great. Maybe I'm gonna draw some lines to show that they're juggling these balls back and forth. Okay, so I'm gonna show you mine really quick. What a silly picture that is. Yeah, so hopefully you're having fun making yours. This, uh, so we want to say thank you Juan Miro for teaching us this style. You could make this with any scraps of paper you have lying around your house. I like yours, Jane, that's really cool. You want to tell us anything more about it? What are they doing? 
What are these creatures doing? Ew. Is this a witch that lost her hat? Yeah. Oh. Okay. So they're like. What's this? So I don't know. Oh, they're throwing the ball too. Yeah. Nice. I like it. Isn't that great? Okay. Well, thanks everybody. So I hope this was fun. Keep working and finishing up for as much time as you have. This has been great. And hope to see you next time. Bye.